a, a web development tutorial here we're doing a web on flask python uh, basically what happened is uh, one of my mates asked me to uh, make a tutorial on how to uh, do a web uh, on flask web application tutorial for beginners and i thought why not it's a lockdown i'm quite happy to do it i've got a time and let's do it all right so i've got my application here i've called my application app.py you can name yours however you like it so let's start to create this uh, 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 application powerful application with quite few uh, lines of code from flask import flask let me define my app here I say my app is equal to flask and I'll define a variable here uh, which will be the source of my application and I'll call it a name okay I'll define my root here is an index all right and I'll return something here so what happened is every time a user visit this uh, application uh, they'll be greeted with a message hello world this is what I want and let's do uh, let's add the user input let's add some coding actually uh, let me add some uh, other root here so this is a user input so we want this application to take a user input to interact with a, a user dynamic and now I have a, um, a variable of type of strange and I'll call it a name. I'll define this as a hello world since this is a hello world application for beginners. And I'll add the, the variable name there. And I'll return hello. So I want every time when the user is inter interacting with this application, I want the the, the application to greet the user hello followed by whatever the user types so I'll add a placeholder and I'll drop in the variable name there that's it our application, our application is done so we've just created a powerful application less than five minutes let's run this application so control shift on your keyboard and uh, press layer key layer P so control shift and layer P we need a uh, Python create a terminal And we, so it's creating a terminal and uh, the terminal is done so let's go on uh, run we need to run this application on a, on a debug mode debug mode is a, is, is, a, is a powerful tool it helps us identify where the errors are where the mistakes are and then we can um, just uh, debug our, our, our program or, or our application if everything is fine it's gonna give us a, a link to go on a browser Okay, so far it's telling us that there is something wrong here, and it's telling us on this. Uh, so it's very important uh, to know how to debug a program or, or an application, know where the mistakes are. So it's telling us that something is wrong here, and that we we are missing some closing there. Save this, rerun. So I'm using a V code. You you, you can rerun using your uh, any type of editor that you're using. You can refresh this and if everything is fine we'll, we'll have a link and we have a link this that says everything is okay so let's copy this link and drop it in the browser for a second drop it there and then press enter run our program works our software works so our application actually runs it's a powerful uh, application and we have managed to do it just under a few minutes all right so 
because we had a piece of code here to allow the user to interact with this uh, application let's see how the interaction works basically let me just put a piece of comment here uh, to illustrate how it works so i'll say this helps uh, correspond helps user correspond dynamic with the application okay, so that's what this lines of code does okay okay so let's go on our browser and let's click a root so we need a root and then type anything there let's type anything on the browser and see what's gonna happen so as far as we see, there's a hello world uh, as a default um, greetings there. So let's type anything there. I'll say, uh, because we are on the month of Ramadan, or let me just write uh, uh, Ramadan. So Ramadan, enter. It says, hello Ramadan. So we've managed to uh, put, uh, uh, to allow user input in our application. So a user can interact with our application. Hello Ramadan says there. So let me just write lockdown since it's a lockdown. Lockdown. Enter. Hello lockdown. Very simple but powerful application and can help you a student or, or anyone who is interested in uh, learning how to create a, a, a application on on, uh, on Python. And this will be a very a fantastic fantastic start. So let me add something here. Have you noticed when uh, um, when we interact with this application, you know, and uh, if we write a lowercase letter, they all come as a lowercase there. So but we, we want the first letter of, of whatever the user types. We need the first letter to be an uppercase. So let's let's add a piece of code here. So we come on our name there, our variable name, and then we add dot. So we add a capitalized function into this. A rerun or refresh your browser or refresh your whatever that your code is using. I go back to uh, your browser and refresh or reload. And you see the first layer, first layer of everything we type. So uh, uh, we've we, we've typed a lowercase there, but it comes as a, an uppercase layer there. That's what that function does. So let me write something else. I'll say um, this. Let me write, uh, 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 just say uh, Burundi there, for example. Let me have hello. Uh, I say a Burundi. So hello, a uh, Burundi. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? All right. So everything is just under five minutes we've done this application and next time we'll create a very powerful application that has got more function and uh, uh, um, more piece of code but this just illustrate how much uh, powerful uh, flask web application is within just a few lines of code we've managed to write this application so one two three four five six seven eight lines of code and this application is working perfectly so we hope this has helped you uh, so much in your journey and learning how to uh, program or doing application or in your journey or whatever that you're doing and follow us next time i'll be doing something more powerful thank you have a good one